guys, this is New Man Ten Year, and today is the official release of the 4.1 jailbreak. Um, pretty excited, but uh, I will tell you now, it is confusing. Um, of course, if you have the iPod Touch 2G or um, the iPhone 3G, you can click here or here. I don't know. I'll have a link. Um, a little annotation you can click. Um, for an easier jailbreak for you, otherwise, everyone else, um, you have to watch this video, the jailbreak on 4.1 software. Okay, now this it, new program just released today is called Snowbreeze 2.0. Um, uh, first I want to say thank you Dino Zombas for uh, all your help on the available um, devices that could be jailbroken on this. And uh, he wrote out this very nice description on what an can be jailbroken and what not can be jailbroken. So thank you to him. I'll link his video in the in uh, the description if you guys don't follow or get mine. All right. So first, available devices. Now listen up, guys. I will have this in the description if you guys are confused. Um, I'm a little confused myself personally. Um, iPod Touch 1G jailbroken on any firmware. It could be jailbroken already. It could not be jailbroken already. Um, preferably have it jailbroken before doing this jailbreak. I have a Touch 2G non MC. Could be jailbroken on any firmware. Um, and it could not also. It could be also not jailbroken. And you also can use this program called iReb, which I will show you later how to use. Um, iPod Touch 2G MC model must be on 3.1.2. Does not need to be jailbroken, but it can be jailbroken. It still will work. iPod Touch 3G must be on 3.1.2, non jailbroken. Um, there's a special checkbox in expert mode, which I'll show you later what expert mode is. Uh, when you're building your custom IP IPSW, which is the firmware uh, file iPhone 2G can be on any firmware, does not need to be pre-jailbroken, which means you don't have to jailbreak before this jailbreak to be able to jailbreak again. iPhone 3G can be on any firmware, jailbroken, or and it has to be jailbroken, the iPhone 3G. And you can use iReb, or you can use the other alternative me method using Red Snow, which I will have an annotation for, for you guys. Um... Uh, let's see. iPhone 3GS new boot ROM must be on 3.2 non jailbroken. Um, special checkbox again in expert mode, which I'll show you later. Um, so this has to be uh, jailbroken, and if you're on the new boot ROM, that's that's for you. Um, and special um. Other side notes and speculations, um, it retains your baseband on iPhones if you don't know what that is. Uh, baseband is like this kind of like this modem that allows you to run your iPhone like it, it's just like a modem based thing on your iPhone. It's kind of like a firmware for only an iPhone. Um, and then it won't update it. It'll just keep it the same as you are now. Uh, a lot of you won't have to worry about that. Some of you will. If you uh, will jailbreak in the future, but this will not affect it, so it helps you out. Um, activate it automatically activates um, your iPhone if you don't have a legit AT&T SIM card. If you do have a legit AT&T SIM card, pull it out while you're jailbreaking, so it won't activate your uh, AT&T SIM card because it doesn't need to be activated because you already got service legally. Um, on 4.1, if you retain an unlockable baseband, you can use Ultra Snow. So, if this jailbreak or activation doesn't work for your device, you can use Ultra Snow. It is compatible with this program, so you are able to unlock your device if it doesn't unlock with this program. Um, and then there's two links for firmwares, and I'll have all that down there in Snowbreeze. Now, Snowbreeze is only available for Windows right now. I don't know why, but um, luckily I'm running Windows 7 on my Mac. Let me just sit up. Let's get ready to go. Okay. I got my iPod Touch 2G plugged in. 
Now, I already am jailbroken because of this other jailbreak, which I'll show you about later. But, uh, you're just going to hit OK. It's going to tell you this is compatible with version 2.0. This is Snowbreeze 2.0, excuse me, and it's compatible with 3.1, 4.0, 4.1. Next, um, this is the expert in simple mode I was talking about. You do not want simple mode, you want expert mode, because I have steps to steps for you, like step to step. Alright, so you get a browse for your firmware. Alright, guys, I'm back, so, um, you're just going to want to search for your IPSW um, mine is kinda hidden because there's a lot of folders and stuff but I got it so you hit OK open just verifying I have an MB model. Okay, so it's verified. You just get it next. Um, and then, like, this is all just different stuff you don't really need. Just build the ISPSW next. And it's actually going to build the firmware for you. Okay, so you're going to open up iTunes um, on Windows 7. And uh, it's going to wait for your iPod to be recognized. Uh, I don't want it to sync. I'm just going to cancel that. Canceling sync. Okay. This doesn't matter anyway. Okay. Now, for this part, on Windows 7, you're going to hit Shift and Restore. What that's going to do is going to open and it's going to allow you to browse for your firmware that you just um, created. So, this is a Snowbreeze iPod Touch 2G 4.1. Um, and then you're just going to hit Open and it's going to start to, um, it's going to start to, uh, uh, restore, um, if you don't have that, uh, iPod Touch 2G, not MC, I'll read you the directions one more time. Uh, let's see. So you, if you have the iPod Touch 1G, uh, you can be jailbroken on any firmware to do this. You have to be jailbroken. iPod Touch 2G, not MC, obviously we just did that one. iPod Touch MC model must be on uh, 3.1.2, does not need to be jailbroken. It can be though, iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 3G, 3.1.2, um, doesn't have to be jailbroken, but you have to go through expert mode like we did, um, iPhone 2G can be on any firmware, does not have to be pre-jailbroken, iPhone 3G can be on any firmware jailbroken, or you can use iReb, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, iPhone 3GS old boot ROM has to be jailbroken on any firmware. If you are jailbroken on Spirit or Jailbreak Me, you must add a source, which I'll show you how to do also. And iPhone 3GS new boot ROM must be on 3.1.2, non-jailbroken. Special checkbox in expert mode, which we did. Retain your baseband, activates it automatically, and that's about it. So... If you have any of those, I know I said those really fast, but I will have it all in the descriptions before you go through this and restore on iTunes. I don't want you guys messing up your devices. Um, but I do have a jailbreak for the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G, uh, not MC and MC. But the MC on that jailbreak is tethered, which means you have to re-jailbreak to boot up your iPod Touch. Alright, and here is the iReb portion of the jailbreak. Um, if you're depending on an iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G, um, you don't really use offline mode unless you don't have Wi-Fi, which most people do. Um, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you have to be on 3.1.2 IPSW. But anyway, just click online mode. Um, with the iPhone, I'll show you the iPhone first. Um, it's going to tell you to put your device into DFU mode. It's going to give you steps on how to put it in DFU mode. And basically from there, it's just going to, um, restore your device and, uh, create your ISP, IPSW. And that's what happens for that particular iPhone 3G. And then I'll show you what happens in a second for... 
iPod Touch. For the iPod Touch 2G, you can select that. It's going to tell you to go into DFU mode. It's going to do the same thing. But now, with um, iRub, I don't really understand um, because there is a better, jail better jailbreak. And in the beginning of this video, I have an annotation where my hand is. Um, and you can go watch that video. Um, it's much better and it's by me, so it's very helpful. So, um, and now I'm going to go to the. Um, the adding the source from Insidia if you do the iRab. Alright guys, so once you're in Insidia and you have Insidia loaded, you're going to go into the bottom tab and it's going to go, it's going to say Insidia Sections Changes Manage. Of course this is after you've been jailbroken when you followed the steps before I showed you. You're going to go to Manage and then you're going to go to Sources. I don't know if you can see that. Sources. It's a middle tab. Then you're going to go on top and you're going to go to Edit then add and you're going to add the source repo and I'll have this in the description for you dot woo wiz dot net so it's going to look like that and this is only for the iPhone 3GS um, old boot ROM the new boot ROM um, all the requirements are is uh, you just be jailbroken on 3.1.2 um, I mean uh, you excuse me you you must be non jailbroken on 3.1.2 just so just restore to 3.1.2 on your iPhone um, 3GS new boot ROM if you're on the um, old boot ROM you can be jailbroken on any firmware um, on spirit or jailbreak me you must be jailbroken on to do this so you're just gonna add this source it's going to verify the URL and it's just going to update. Of course, I don't have an iPhone, but I'm still going to show you how to add the source because some people don't know how to do it. It's going to reload data. And once it's done reloading, it's going to just get a return to Cydia. Hit done. And I'll go into the source and you're going to look for Spirit to Pwn. So you're going to go down to the S's. And it's right here. You're going to select it, Spirit to Pwn. Um, and you're going to hit install in the top right corner. And then you're going to hit confirm. And it might need you to uh, restart your Cydia or respring your whole device, which is okay. You need to do that. So um, this will work. I'm not going to install this because I don't have an iPhone. But that's basically how you do it. So if you guys um, have any questions or concerns, um, leave me comments down below. Thank you for watching this jailbreak video. I know it was very lengthy, but I wanted to get everything across to you, um, get all the specs and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.